Walking in the fish room, you guys know RJ, aquatics and well-being, but we got a special thing happening. We're gonna switch the camera down right there. We got a two, not one, but two brand new fish to the fish room, and we're gonna start acclimating right now. I didn't shoot a video of me taking out the box, putting it in water, getting adjusted to water, but I'm acclimating two fish at the same time. One of them I'm waiting for I order to do Black Friday from Predator Fence. It's one of my favorite stingrays, and let's take a look at what it looks like. Let's go over here. He, not she, is acclimating, and that's where they're gonna go to. There's way, way there. You guys seen her before. There's only one stingray right now. That one's got moved to a different one, Athena and Diamond. They're over there on the other side, but there's Ray there and a new one here. So I want you guys to tell me what should I name him? Unsure so far, and let's turn him a switch. And I got some new rainbow basmanis in here. About three of them. They're gonna be in the quarantine tank there with other fish until they go upstairs. So we got some brand new fish in the fish room. I'm gonna acclimate them. Shoot another video how it looks like once they're in the tank. Acclimating process is pretty difficult. Those have done it, especially in cold weather, traveling across the United States from New York to now Washington. So they're in the fish room. I can make them. We'll talk soon. Now it's almost ready to go in that tank. So last acclimation, what I do when it comes to acclimation, I always put 20 minutes in the tank, the bag full of water. Then second, what I do is I put them with the air. You see that right there. And then obviously a drip system. And what I do is I Wait every five minutes, dump some water out, put some water in. Every five minutes, dump some water out, put some water in. It really helps the slow acclimation, especially when fish travel one period of time. So that's what I'm doing here. It's again, I dump half the water out into that bucket. You can see that there. I allow new water from there to come inside here. And every five minutes, I dump water, old water in there, and new water coming in. It's a really slow acclimation process. And I got the air right there. so. He can breathe, you guys can see him there. So I'm gonna show you right now, I'm going right into the tank. Okay, one thing I'm gonna tell you guys about this one. So you can see there's a basket right here on top of the tank. What I like to do with my rays, before dumping just straight into the tank, I like putting them in the basket, like I'm acclimating to water, let them get used to water chemistry, the pH, the air, and helps me um, watch them eat. So I'm kind of getting them eating first before I actually put them into the main tank, which is obviously here. but. I always put the ray here, so the ray is actually to the side, as you guys can see here, and it's ready to go into the basket right there. So here we go. Let's take a look. There we go. Bring it right over here. And there he is. Let's get a top view. Boy, I love those colors. We kind of darken the camera a little bit, but I love those colors. And there he is right there. Buddy, welcome to the fish room. And that's my stingray in a new tank. So it's for the second tank. The rainbow basmani, so I'm gonna pretty much are down in the, the tank here, not tank, but down in here, get acclimated. So I'm tossing here, you guys can see me drop them inside. So let me get a net, and let me get a bucket, and there you go.
Okay guys, you can see the rays right there inside the tank itself. What I like to do is throw a blanket on top of the tank itself to darken it, let me get used to it. Like I said, with my stingrays, I put them in a the basket, let me get acclimated to the water chemistry, the pH, the bubbles, everything, and then I put them inside. It's just, I like that slow, slow process. And let's turn around and the Basmanis are, uh, where's my hand at, are in this tank here. So you guys saw them dropped in there. So I'm just gonna let that acclimate, let them get used to it, and then shoot another video, see how they're doing, how they're eating, and go from there.